Hi colourful souls, welcome to my channel Threads of Light. My name is Rhiannon and we do different pick a card tarot readings here. I hope you guys are really well. Today I'm going to be getting a message for you from the higher self of your soulmate of what they'd like to say to you right now. There are four different paths to choose from. For this reading you might be partnered with your soulmate already, in which case this is the higher self of them coming through with a message, or this could be about your soulmate that you have not yet met. And um, so take it however it resonates. There are four different paths to choose from. I'm going to show you these paths now before I give you a little bit of time to meditate on these. So for pile number one, we've got this card here. It's the Goddess of Prophecy. And you have the Rose Quartz Crystal as well. That's pile number one. For pile number two, we have the Goddess of Healing with this carved heart-shaped stone with the tree of life on it. And this is pile number two. For pile number three, we have the goddess of motherhood along with this carnelian heart-shaped crystal. Pile number three. And then for pile number four, we have the goddess of mourning. And that comes with this orange calcite heart crystal. So these are the three, the, sorry, the four different options. I felt drawn to do four today for some reason. Um, feel into which one of these you're most drawn to. You can pause the video if you feel like you need a little bit of time. Whichever card or crystal you feel most attracted to, most drawn to, that will probably hold your message from your soulmate. If you find yourself drawn to more than one, or after you've watched your pile, if you feel as though there's something else calling to you, then always trust your intuition because your soul might, might have a one small message in another pile. Um, the whole of it might not resonate, but there might be something in there that's a, a message coming through for you as well. So always trust your intuition. But when you are ready, if you head down to the description box below by clicking on the timestamps, by clicking on the more button, sorry, I put all the different timestamps next to the piles. If you click on that, that will take you straight to the beginning of the reading. I'll see you soon. Pound number one, welcome to your reading today. Hope you guys are well. This reading, I felt drawn to ask for a message for you from the higher self of your soulmate. And this could be somebody that you're already partnered with, or it could be your soulmate that you haven't yet met in the physical world. You're attracted to a really beautiful energy. We've got very pink and soft energy here. Number 52 with Kathleen, goddess of prophecy. So the number 52 could be significant, or the 5th of February, or the 2nd of May. These could be significant dates for you. Also the number seven. Um, we do have the Goddess of Prophecy here and I am gonna be using the guidebook that comes with this deck to help us with what this um, might mean. But you might have already had um, some divination about your soulmate or maybe they are wanting you to communicate with them through divination. Maybe there is something that you have um, already been told by a reader or by a psychic which they're telling you to focus on here and you do have a very nurturing energy of this rose quartz so there's a lot of love that they're wanting you to 
feel their love right now. So to come and protect this reading today, I want to honour a really special archangel, who is the Archangel Shamuel, and he is the angel of love. Um, he's known as the divine matchmaker and the healer of hearts, and he helps us to heal ourselves and to love ourselves first, and also heal all of our relationships. He helps us to receive trustworthy and loving relationships with our soul family and with soulmates. Um, he uses this pink ray, which brings gentleness and compassion. Um, and he can open our heart so that we can see um, the love and the divinity within ourselves and then within all people. He's a very, very um, joyful angel to work with. And he helps us to feel trusting enough to open up. So I'm going to ask him to protect this reading while we connect to your soulmate. So I'm going to start with the tarot before we have a look at some oracle cards. Let's see what comes through for you. Thank you so much Archangel Shamuel for protecting this reading. We're asking please for the person who picked pile one to connect with their soulmate please for a message for them. What does their soulmate want to say to pile one please? Thank you so much for being with us. swords I heard there's a pool of thought and I don't know what that means I felt as though somebody was swimming around in like their thoughts and their thoughts were kind of inside a pool um so maybe somebody is thinking about you maybe their this soulmate is ruminating about you or they've got a decision to make with the two of swords the two of swords can be a card of trusting our intuition and tapping into our heart space so their first message to you is <clears throat> that they are learning to open their heart more. They're learning to look around them and see the world through their heart rather than through their mind. Your soulmate also wants you to be able to open up more, open up your heart to them more, trust how, trust them maybe, or open up more to them. They can feel a really strong psychic bond with you right now with this two of swords. Um, especially with your Goddess of Prophecy card, you're very connected telepathically, whether you are physically with this person or not. They feel a really strong psychic bond with you right now. Um, and your souls are really connected, especially in the ethereal worlds with this Two of Swords. Yeah, and the Hermit. So there's definitely something very strongly to do with the other realms that your soulmate wants you to know about. Maybe there is some meditation that you can do to connect with your soulmate right now. Whether they are um, your existing partner or not, they might be wanting to communicate you through their dreams or your souls are coming together in the other realms. Um, so the Hermit is a card of spending time alone. So maybe they are spending time, some more time alone at the moment. They're retreating because they have a decision to make and they're trying to connect with their heart to open up to making this decision. Let's have a look. Some of them might feel a bit blocked from you as well. They might feel as though you have isolated yourself from them or that they're not feeling your energy as much. So there is an invitation to connect with them in the ethereal realms so that they can feel your energy right now. Yeah, we've got the Seven of Cups, a lot of um, energy of our dream space. So there is an invitation from your soulmate to connect to them better through meditation, through journaling with them or through journaling about them. If you do have a decision to make, to open yourself up to let them in to this decision. We've got this Seven of Cups, so there's some results happening as you meditate especially. We've got the Two of Cups here, which is a lovely union energy, it is the soulmate card. Um, is a very lovely energy of you both being on the same wavelength. The Six of Wands. So this is a really successful energy. And the Temperance card. Very healing. There's a lot of like watery and air energy coming through. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, the card of Destiny and Change. And the Page of Pentacles, this is so interesting, this is the last card that you have in this spread. And this is the seed of potential in the physical world. 
So a message coming through from your soulmate in this path has got something to do with your spiritual connection. They want to tell you that they can really strongly feel your um, ethereal connection with them right now. And especially when they're dreaming, they feel you very strongly. Um, they feel very healed energy around you right now with the Temperance card. There's something that is coming together for you both. It's starting a new beginning with the Page of Pentacles in the physical world, but first there's this time spent for your minds to join together on this goal in the ethereal worlds. Here we've got the Seven of Cups, which is talking about this meditative energy. And we've got the Two of Cups, you joining together to create this union in your thoughts. And it being really successful with the Six of Wands, both of your energies combined with the Temperance card is changing fate with the Wheel of Fortune and bringing about a seed of potential in your physical world. So your soulmate is coming through to say, you're both merging at the moment, or the higher self of your soulmate is merging with you in the other realms, and they're bringing something in that is going to shift time, is going to shift the season of your connection into new possibilities into the earthly realm. So if you haven't met them yet, then I do feel as though your connection is getting stronger um, in, the ethereal, in the ethereal realms. And to make sure that you are prioritizing meditating with them, they would like you to prioritize spending time with them in the ethereal worlds before something can shift into the physical world. Um, or if you're already partnered with your soulmate, then you're both, um, there's something of a shift happening here for you in something that you've really wanted, that you've dreamed of together, you've dreamt of. It's shifting into the physical world as you both continue to pour into your dreams. So there's a strong message here for you just to continue to pour all of your love, all of your energy, um, all of your focus into what it is that you're wanting and your nurturance into this connection right now, especially um, through any divination practices or meditation practices or dream work practices, because you both together are about to pull off an amazing shift in your physical world through this dream time. This is really cool. I'm going to get you some more tarot now. Let's see what other messages they've got for you. Um, there's definitely something as well that they're seeing clearly. They're seeing how to change something, how they can heal something, bring something together into the physical world that they want you to know about in this reading. Let me get you some more cards then. What will you have us know for part number one? A message from their soulmate, please. Weird, I did see like a magician in the top of Dumbledore's um, tower, like busying inside that, um, that cauldron where Dumbledore can see the future in the cauldron. So that's interesting. Perhaps there's a message about water-based scrying as well. Perhaps you could be looking into a pool of water to find messages um, that is going to ha be helpful for you and your soulmate. We've got the Knight of Wands at the back of the deck. This is really playful and fun energy. So they're wanting you to know there's some really playful and fun times ahead for you and your soulmate. And focus on fun and the things that bring you a lot of fun. There's a lot of adventure coming into your life right now to prepare yourself and get ready for this big shift that's been happening. And that maybe you didn't see, maybe it hasn't happened for a while with the Four of Cups here, you couldn't see the shift that's about to take place. Um, your soulmate is wanting you to know that even though you can't see it, something is coming in that is bringing about this shift of energy, passion, fun, excitement. Um, yeah, like a very fiery energy coming through. This could even be um, a burst in your um, sexual passion for each other that's coming through. And to tap into that energy, tap into your desires. So with the Seven of Cups, you've got the Ten of Swords. And the Emperor. You've got the Strength card. The Eight of Wands. The Queen of Wands. 
Wow, and the Empress. This is so lovely. So your soulmate is coming through to say that there's been a time of maybe confusion in your life that it is coming to an end. And they are um, helping to strategize something within your relationship right now. They're asking you to be patient. Being patient will, will really help this to come into fruition, to succeed. Your patience and also your compassion or your gentleness could be really successful right now in this con in this connection. Um, there's something, they're taking the reins of something with the Emperor and the Two of Cups. They've got a plan with your connection um, and spirit especially is helping to move something. There's some divine intervention happening with your connection and the higher self of your soulmate wants you to know that, that you are both aligned with the spiritual plan right now. Um, they are coming towards you through spirit to help you to birth something into your reality. If you're not together, they want you to know that they are coming to you. If you are together with this person, they want you to know that there's a plan in the spiritual worlds, world that you've been really wanting um, together and spirit is moving this plan forward really quickly. There was lots and lots of things that were open that needed to be closed. There are lots of different other options that needed to close down in the spiritual worlds. And maybe there were some negative thought patterns or there were some other things that was were occupying your mind um, holding you back from this vibration of what it is that you're wanting. Your soulmate wants you to come through to believe and trust because here we've got the divine counterparts coming through and spirit moving these divine, divine counterparts together. Um, you can see the, em the empress at the end here and the emperor coming forward and spirit pushing this connection forward so your your soulmate wants you to know that spirit is doing something and that they themselves are in the ethereal world helping to push a new chapter in your life together where you'll be able to birth some of your dreams together in the reality in reality but first there's a really lovely invitation to focus on your desires focus on what it is that you want and be patient and give it time the major arcanas we have here, Temperance, the Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, Strength and the Empress. So there's a lot of major arcanas, some, some big moments happening in this spread. So your soulmate wants you to be patient for divine timing, for the seasons to change in your life. And there is something coming together with the Emperor and the Empress. And to balance out your yin and yang energy, um, allow yourself to receive, but also take action on the things that you want to protect um, within yourself. I've got this card now, which is a really lovely card from the Celtic Goddess Oracle. I've been really enjoying this. I've had it for about a year. Um, and the backs are so pretty. This is the Goddess of Prophecy. So let me read a little bit of this out to you. I've written at the top, your thoughts can affect the outcome. Use magic tools, listen to your intuition and be patient. So it says here, it is prophesied that miracles will happen in all areas of your life. You will be delivered from an unpleasant situation, especially if you ask for the patience to trust that divinity knows what's best. Answers to your present and future will come from within, as you can see clairvoyantly. You also have the power to interpret signs from without, which you make sense of within. Your gifts of divination will increase as prophecies will spring to mind without conscious thought. Your gift, protecting you from adversity or ensuring you make the right choices, may help others too. So it says here, your psychic, you will receive psychic messages before the premonition becomes a reality. If messages wake you up at night, accept them and don't push the communication away. It might be too late for spirit to give messages further down the line or the message could be crucial for that day. By using prophetic tools such as cars, runes, a dowsing pendulum, crystal ball, tea leaf reading, or messages you receive in your dreams, you'll discover the preferred methods for triggering your clairvoyant gifts. This is so interesting. It also says not having what you may want. What, not having what you want may turn out to be lucky. The work of supernatural forces will bring you good. You create your fate each day by what you think and what you do. This is, there is something beneficial in this situation if you think something is beyond your abilities, but it won't be in the fullness of time. So this is really interesting. There's something strong about your psychic gifts, especially with all the messages about a pool of water. 
Um, spending time maybe with your divination practice could be really helpful. Your soulmate wants you to know this right now. But they want to know that spirit is pushing something forward. Almost a miracle will happen for you in your physical world. As you can focus on the ethereal worlds in this connection. I'm going to get you some more um, cards now. Let me get you an Archangel Michael card. Thank you so much, Archangel Shamuel and Archangel Michael. And to the soulmate of pile number one, please. Thank you, soulmate. What do you want them to know in this pile? You've got make a commitment. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. So perhaps there is a deepening in your commitment to your soulmate. Perhaps your soulmate has made a commitment to you in the ethereal realms, and this commitment with divine timing is gonna push something forward into the physical world. This could be anything from a new phase in your relationship, you both coming together, or something new happening within your relationship as you commit to wanting it. Let's get you a yes, no card now. Something about committing to a prophecy. You've got the card forgiveness. And that's interesting because it's coming with this um, the strength card. There might be some forgiveness about how long something has taken or there is a coming back together with this person um, if you have fallen out at all in the ethereal worlds maybe first. Let's have a look. Oh, so two cards fell out straight away. You've got the card one bat spirit, be at home. And starfish spirit, open to infinite possibility. And I felt like the first message for you guys here was to open up your heart more, to spend some time maybe at home, building an altar, if that's something you like to do, connecting to your spiritual practice, and to open up to infinite possibility, especially in this connection, in your soulmate connection. If there is anything that um, your soulmate, you feel that you are wanting an apology from them, they're very sorry about something, and they would like to commit to you um, they would like to ask for your forgiveness right now. And they would like you to maybe, they, they would like to be at home with you. They would like you to open up to them, to trust them more. Um, and also for anyone where this is relevant, I do feel this energy, if you are partnered with somebody, that you could both be moving house in the spiritual worlds first and you're you're both coming together in the spiritual world, deciding on where you're going to live next. However, for someone here, maybe your partner didn't want to move their home. They didn't want to open up to infinite possibility. And so they're very sorry. But in the, in the um, ethereal world, their soul is starting now to make a commitment to this connection. Where maybe in the next six months, you might find that this person starts opening up now to moving house, if that's something you really wanted. Um, but for others, there's a, a deepening of a commitment here that your soulmate wants to make to you. And they're very sorry for something that has happened in your life. Um, and they would love it if you could open up more to them, open up your heart to them. Um, with maybe routines and rituals that you can do yourself at home. So let me get you some advice and guidance now from your soulmate of what they would like you to know. Thank you so much for part number one, Archangel Shamuel. What will you have them know for advice and guidance? So let me see, what does this say? It says, number 36, blend into the environment. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So the octopus is often a symbol of change, of many things happening at once. Perhaps there are very many things happening at once in your emotions right now with this water energy. And um, it says to assess the situation and adapt accordingly. So this could be a message for you right now, blending into the environment, being at home, opening up to the skills that you have, opening up to something, especially if that's got something to do with your clairvoyancy. Um, there could be a deepening of your prophecy skills that's coming through here. Let me get you one final message to close this reading from the tarot from your soulmate. Thank you so much, soulmate of number one. Do you have a last message for them, please? 
The Six of Cups, this is a card of soulmates, so they want to affirm how close your connection is right now. They can feel you around them all the time. When you're not together, they see lots of signs of you. Um, your connection is really deepening. Um, there could be a message here about your memories as well, or children. And the Three of Pentacles, so there's definitely a feeling of support around you right now from your soulmate. They want to offer you support to build something, to help something grow. They want to offer you a sense of, um, of help. They want to help you with something. Yeah, spiritually with a High Priestess. So your soulmate is wanting to come together with you, especially in the spiritual worlds in this pile. Um, whether your soulmate is somebody who practices divination or meditation or anything like that in their physical body, certainly their soul self wants to connect with you through these realms to help build something in your life right now with a dream. So they are encouraging you, to, whether your partner or not is somebody who is spiritual, um, their soul wants to encourage you to meditate, to bring something into being in the physical world right now. So pile number one, this is what I got for you today. I hope that it resonated for you guys. Um, I'd love to know in the comment box below. I felt like it was something a little bit different today, but I wonder if it did resonate for you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I do feel there's lots of miraculous energy coming up for you guys, and it does feel very spiritually guided. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment box below, and subscribe to the channel if you feel drawn to. Thank you so much, Archangel Shamuel, for these messages today. Archangel Shamuel is a really powerful angel for bringing about love and loving feelings within ourselves so we can open up to loving ourselves and loving our lives, um, detached from outcomes of other things, seeing and being grateful for everything that we have around us. He really opens up our heart to be able to see through that like love lens. Um, and help us to deepen the connections in our life that we already have. But he also helps to bring in our soulmates, to heal relationships, um, to bring in, I wanted to say forgiveness then for you guys, but I didn't mean that. Bring in trustworthy relationships is what I wanted to say. But he does bring com compassion and forgiveness into relationships too. And this is a hand-painted ultra print that I created of him. It's available in my Etsy shop. And um, I've also made this print which has a poem in it and a little bit of information about him to help you to further connect with him. I always see him in this sort of um, seraphium, is that how you say it, angel energy? Um, but he comes in many forms, he uses the pink ray. And this is the affirmation that I've channeled from Archangel Raphael, uh, Shamuel, sorry. I love everyone in my life and everyone loves and appreciates me too. I'm grateful for my friends. I am a loving and kind friend. I accept all of me and I fully forgive the mistakes I've made in the past. I'm gentle with myself and others. I matter to people. It's easy for me to love and to be loved. I feel safe to open my heart and be myself. I love my uniqueness and the universe loves me deeply. I'm worthy of wonderful loving relationships. And I have popped the link in the description box below to my Etsy shop guys. Um, I put the one for Archangel Shamuel in the top comment if you feel drawn to checking him out. But all of my different prints, they come with a prayer sheet and an affirmation card um, and gift wrapped. They're available in my Etsy shop. Along with my tarot deck that I drew um, based on the Smith Rider Waite meanings. And this deck comes with a free ultra print of your choice. Of whichever face of the divine you feel most connected to. It comes with a handmade pouch as well to store them in. Um, and I'm also offering private readings as well at the moment in my Etsy shop. There's two different options to choose from, a mini reading um, where there is a round of tarot with your question and also pre-shuffled oracle cards and some advice and guidance. Um, and also a more detailed reading with three different sections, a little bit like a pick a card where you can either choose three different questions to ask or you can really expand on your topic to find out more messages from spirit. But the information for that is available in my Etsy shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've loved doing this reading so much. Um, hope you have a lovely day and I hope I see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.
pal number two, welcome to your reading today where I'm going to be getting a message for you from the higher self of your soulmate. Whether you are currently connected in the physical world with your soulmate um, or not, this will be coming through from their higher self. You are attracted to this combination here, number 39, Habitrot with Goddess of Healing, with a spinning wheel here, and also you have the Tree of Life um, carved stone. So the Tree of Life is about renewal, it's about interconnectedness of all people and all situations, um, and it's also about rebirth, like the cycles of the seasons coming together. So perhaps there is a rebirth happening in your connection with your soulmate right now. Your soulmate may be wanting to encourage you with any healing practices as well that can help you with your personal rebirth. Um, or for some of for someone, they're very proud of how you've been able to use your creativity or your passions or your um, spirituality for your healing. There's something especially about Celtic healing or um, symbols that is coming through here from your soulmate. They are very inspired by this. With this spinning wheel, it's making me think of a Norse goddess Frigg as well, who spins the wheel of fate and of destiny. So you're coming into a destined time of rebirth right now in your connection, in your soulmate connection, where everything is healing and you're realising how interconnected you are with your soulmate and also with all people. So there might be a, almost a spiritual initiation that has been unfolding. Your soulmate wants you to know that you're very safe, that everything might feel like it is being turned upside down in your connection, that what you thought was true actually becomes untrue. And you might feel a bit untrusting of spirit when you realise that things are all turned upside down. However, they want you to know that this was a part of your Wheel of Fate together, that you've learnt many lessons on this Wheel of Fate, and that it helps you to thread together your connection even, even further. For some of you, thread could be significant in your connection. There could be certain threads woven together right now, for any of you who work with thread, then there's something about this work which is significant in a connection with your soulmate. There's also something of a cycle that is really quickly going to be coming into fruition for you. Um, it might feel like you're really far away from something in your soulmate connection or in your life, but actually your soulmate wants you to know that you're much closer to it than you think you are. There's something happening in your fate right now which is going to kick into action your dreams as soon as healing is activated. And you don't need to force healing right now. Healing will come on its own. There's something about you and your soulmate healing ancestral lines as well, that you have both, either in the ethereal world separately, um, or together, healed an ancestral wound, which was has not been healed for many, many generations. And so you are going to be reaping some really big rewards karmically for being able to heal the wounds that has been passed down between your ancestry. You're really connected with your soulmate in this pile. I went into a trance before I even asked Archangel Shamua to protect this reading. So I feel that you're always together, even if you feel that you're apart. There's something happening in unity here. So let me um, invite in Archangel Shamuel before I get your tarot cards. So Archangel Shamuel is the Archangel of divine love, of healing, of helping us to bring in beautiful relationships and to appreciate and be grateful for all the relationships that have helped us grow, helped us heal, the relationships that we've needed to let go of and the potential for the relationships coming in. He helps to open our heart and attract love into our life. So let's see what your soulmate would like to say to you. Thank you so much Archangel Samuel for being with us today and for protecting this reading. We're so grateful to have you here. Please connect us with a soulmate of the person who picked Pile 2 please for a message that they'd like Pile 2 to know. Thank you so much. The 
3rd of September could be a significant date for somebody, or the 9th of March, or the number 39, or the age 39. There could also be um, an ancestor who was 93 years old when they died, or a loved one who is 93 who is helping you right now. You might be 93 years old. Thank you, a lot of cards for you. So you've got the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Your soulmate wants to talk to you about something that it, you are walking away from right now, which is healthy to walk away from. There's something new forming which is going to align you in a much better way than something that you have been focusing on right now or in the past. So they're encouraging you to continue with your guided ideas. There's an idea that you're having that is going to move you in a new direction and this is really encouraged right now from your soulmate. Yeah, and to bring something to an end, to allow for final completions of something. There's an essential something in your life that needs to come to an end right now so that new ideas and new guidance can form. So your first card is a Three of Cups of Celebration and the Seven of Pentacles. You've got the Fool, oh, lovely energy. The Tower. Wow, the Two of Cups. The Five of Swords. And the Hanged Man, this is so lovely. So your soulmate wants to come through to tell you that you are both letting go of a conflict. You're letting go of a limited thought um, in order for you to pursue more joy in this connection, there's a new opportunity opening up with you and your soulmate. We are really going to be investing in the friendship of your connection, of the things that you love to do together as friends first. Um, and they're encouraging you to do the things that you love because the more you focus on you doing everything that brings you joy and makes you feel excited, the more, the deeper that you will be falling in love together with your soulmate the deeper, the, the bigger opportunities you have together to deepen your soulmate connection. And there is a limited viewpoint that you have had that they're encouraging you to shift about this connection. If this is, if this is a soulmate that you don't um, have in your physical world right now, they would love for you to, your soulmate is coming through to tell you not to limit yourself if you believe that you don't have a soulmate, that you are going to be alone, or that you're better off alone, or maybe you don't believe in soulmates, they're encouraging you to flip your perspective on this. And um, because they are wanting, they are waiting for you. They're waiting for you to start celebrating something in your life more, or to start investing more in the things that you love. Your soulmate is to be found in your soul tribe. So as you start in, um, investing more in things that you really love, whether that's tarot, whether that's meditation, whether that's art, whether that's sport, there's something that you really love where you're gonna meet your soul family. And the moment you start investing and paying more attention to the things you love, your soulmate is coming in very, like with a bang, where there's the fool in the tower and the two of cups. And they are going to release any limiting beliefs that you've had about yourself and this soulmate connection. And um, if you are already partnered with your soulmate, then they want you to continue to focus on what it is that you love that is attracting in more friendships and more soul tribe energy. They're very proud of you for your healing and how you've already invested in your, your soul and what it is that your soul wants to express in this lifetime. They're very proud of you. And they can't believe the risks that you've taken in order to deepen your connection with yourself and their soul wants you to know that you yourself in the risks you've taken have deepened their connection to you and deepened their life experience in general, which is so lovely. And um, you've helped them to break free of any limitations that they had for themselves through your really pushing the boat out with exploring what it is that you enjoy, your passions. They wanna say thank you to you because they are partnered with you as a soulmate and the more you push the boundaries for what it is that you love, really take risks and enjoy yourself and find what it is that you really love, 
The more you invest in your soul community, your soul family, the deepening they feel in love with you as a soul, and the more that they're removing, um, they're breaking free of any self-limited viewpoints that they had of themselves as well, because you're inspiring them in how you are taking risks. So I wonder if you are investing in something like a passion project or healing or friendships or you're really going out of your way to try and see the positive or invest in goodness in your life. Whether you've met your soulmate or not, this is where they are meeting you. They're, meet they're meeting you in the places where you are investing in your fun. And they want to say that whether they are currently partnered with you or whether they are your soulmate and they haven't come forward yet in the physical world, they're so proud of you with how you've been able to focus on this stuff. It's really helped their soul to grow. And I think that you're very, very connected, whether you're together or not, in the separate things that you do. The more you grow and open yourself up to the things that you want to do, the more their soul is opening up to the things that they want to do. And it's bri bridging, it's bridging a much deeper connection between the two of you and expanding your, your and your soulmate's sense of identity. So you are definitely here together to heal something, to um, be unapologetic about who you are, to break free of any of the matrix structures which have maybe made you feel as though you have to behave in a certain way, maybe passed down by your ancestry. Um, you both together are a powerhouse for being yourselves and the more you are yourself, the deeper this connection is growing and maybe coming into the physical world as well. So they're just encouraging you to carry on going. And there's a rebirth happening in this connection here with this crystal. Let me get you some more cards of what they want to say to you. What will you have them know, please, soulmate? So you've got the page of wands here and the devil. Interesting, the devil to be clarified with the seven of pentacles here. And the knight of swords. The eight of swords, the magician. Four of Cups and the Sun. And the back of the deck here we've got the Knight of Cups and the Three of Wands stunning. So your soulmate wants to come through with a message to please keep exploring what stirs your heart, what you, your heart is guiding you to explore. These might be things that feel really uncomfortable. For example, a healing journey where you are ripped open in order for you to explore your heart more. That's where their love lies. It, it's in these areas of breaking open and um, they also want you to know that they are wanting to deepen the connection with you. The Knight of Cups is the Three of Wands. It looks as though she's opened up an engagement ring. And <laughs> the Knight of Cups is like proposals and offers. So for any of you on a soulmate journey right now that you're not engaged to your soulmate, they want you to know that an engagement is just around the corner. A hand fasting or a marriage is around the corner for you guys. And um, as you continue to focus on what it is that you love. So basically your soulmate is coming through to say that you have helped them so much to break free from their own limitations. And that, that's because you did it for yourself. You have been breaking free of your own limitations. Um, and your the action that you've been taking is bringing in unity with you both. The actions you've been taking to break free of negative habits of addictions or even negative thoughts about yourself have really helped them as well. And it's helped them to break free to be their true self. So they're encouraging you to continue to shine brightly, to be your true self. It's really building this connection, building so much healing. They're also wanting you to not be afraid of yours or their dark side. If there is something here that you have been afraid of, I don't know what that could be. It could be afraid of exploring something that you're naturally pulled to exploring. For example, maybe there is a spiritual path that you're a little bit afraid to explore. They're saying, don't be afraid of it. It's all a part of the lessons. It's all a part of the healing. It could be anything in your intimate life that you're afraid of. They're saying to embrace it, embrace what it is that you like. Um, there's something here about uh, embrace all of yourself and embracing all of them that is really healing to them that they want you to know about. They want you to know that they love how much that you are learning to fully embrace all of, the, all of your flaws, all of your quirks, all of the things that make you you, all of your interests, all of the things that are... Um, more shadow or negative about you, all the things that are more shadow or negative about them. There's a really truly unconditionally loving energy on the table um, and they want you just to carry on doing what you're doing. You're breaking down limitations and exploring more of what it is that you enjoy, exploring new paths 
Um, and they just, basically, the message coming through here, just to carry on being you and shining bright. They, this is the message of all of me loves all of you, all your quirks and imperfections. Um, even when I lose and winning, whatever that song is. Um, there's something here, uh, this beautiful healing journey between you both that is either bringing in your soulmate to you that is just going to embrace absolutely all of you and you embrace all of them because of this heal healed energy or they're just absolutely loving the journey you're going on together where you're really breaking down limitations together focusing on your unique quirks and you're helping them so much to learn about themselves it's a really beautiful message coming through i really love it let me get you some of the message now from this beautiful card it comes from the Jillian. Let me show you. It's a really lovely deck, actually. It's a Jillian Kemp deck, and it's a Celtic Goddess Oracle. And you have the card Habitrot, Goddess of Healing. So I'm going to read a little bit from this for you. It says, Improvement, Restoration and Rebirth. Positive things are happening. You are healing and possibly solving a predicament. If you feel you can't alter something, changing your thinking makes it more bearable. Enjoying your life encourages healing on an emotional, spiritual and physical level. Peace of mind is an option for anyone going through a difficult illness or injury that takes time to pass. Habitrot's spinning wheel is bringing unexpected kindness and miracles as you keep your eyes on the wheel and never lose the thread of your own destiny. Yeah, that's so lovely. So there is a miracle happening for you and I just do feel like your soulmate is saying how proud they are of you. Um, you've really inspired them. And whether you are, you know, partnered or not, this is their, their higher self. You're really inspiring them. They can feel your energy changing and your self-acceptance is helping them to accept themselves. And they just want you to know that their soul is falling deeper in love with your soul. It's really beautiful. Um, and I am, I am going to put that song, All of me loves all of you, in the description box below because I feel like that's their message to you. So let me get you some more cards. What what would you have to know, please, soulmate of part number two? Yes, stag spirit number 58, take the lead. So you are leading the way in your connection. There's something about your healing journey which is leading the way. Um, you are head above the rest and you breaking new boundaries or there's something like you're inspiring them, you're sharing something with them and they're really grateful for you, for what it is that you conspired them with. Um, your healing journey especially has really inspired your soulmate and they feel empowered by you. So there's something here about you continuing with this empowering journey of healing that is really helping to open new doors and bridge the gap between you and your soulmate. The 5th of August could be significant as well as the 8th of May. And the number 58. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. Number 19. So yeah, there's this message of what it is that you love, your unique quirks, the things that you are uniquely passionate about. Um, this is what your soulmate is coming through to say to carry on doing. They love this about you. They absolutely love how unique you are, how loyal you are to the people you love and the things that you love. And the passions that you have, how devoted you are, how I feel like they feel as though that you're very grounded and um, somebody that is re respected, they really respect you. They have a lot of loyalty and respect to you in how you lead your life, just how, how you are as a person. I love this energy for you guys. I feel like you guys are so amazing. Your soulmate really loves you and they, they just love there's something very humble about you as well that you're not fully aware of how much of a difference that you've made to them you're not aware of the impact you've had on their lives um, and if you don't know them that this is in the spiritual world your souls together you've both been um together through a healing journey and you you your healing itself has made an impact to them energetically i feel like i want to get you one more card from this deck which is different from what i did to card number one but let's go for it Okay, more messages than one. Let's take them anyway. So we've got number 62, slow and steady wins the race. So again, this could be a healing message to take your time, especially if you are going through a healing journey right now. Carry on being loyal to what you love is the message your soulmate is coming through. Um, if you haven't met your soulmate in the physical world yet, they're saying don't rush anything. They're coming. They they You are on the right path. It might be a patient, a bit more patient. 
Um, this could be happening on the 2nd of June, especially for someone here. Number six, lay a solid foundation. So June could definitely be significant. However, maybe not. There's something here about laying a solid foundation for this connection in terms of healing, in terms of being loyal to what you love, in being a leader. They want you to stay the course with something, especially to do with your passions, stay committed. And they're so proud of you with how you have stayed the course with something, how you've not given up. They're just saying like um, something of a message of consistency is key. So stay consistent, keep laying brick by brick. And Crow Spirit, co-create with Spirit, number 17. And so the 7th of August could be significant as well that I'm seeing here. Um, which is so strange because the 7th of August didn't come up. <laughs> it's the 1st of July that came up in that imagery. So definitely the 7th of August for somebody here. And um, there's something really creative about you and your soulmate wants you to know how much they value your, um, your creativity, your talents, how attractive it is that you're so loyal to what it is that you love. You don't give up, you're so determined. It's really to be respected. They are so inspired by you and how you've taken the lead in your life, especially with your healing. And there's something that you've discovered which is leading them to feel more love to what it is that they love. You're really paving the path for them. And um, so they're encouraging you with whatever it is that you're co-creating with Spirit right now to take your time, to do it properly. Don't cut corners. Slow and steady wins a race. Keep laying this solid foundation and being loyal to it, leading the way because something really beautiful is opening up for you. You're really um, on this wonderful journey and you can expect miracles around the corner. Let me get you some more cards. I'm going to get you a timing card. Thank you so much, Soulmate of Pal 2. What will you have them know? Be assertive. Okay, take the lead. Be assertive. So there's, they want you to take the lead with something. Um, if this is a soulmate connection where the person is quite shy, then they're asking you to take the lead with something in, in this connection. They would like you to take the lead. If they are on a healing journey, then maybe they are looking to you to take the lead with something. And wait. So this wait card, I'm going to put it by lay a solid foundation. So maybe they are waiting for you to lay a solid foundation in your life or you you need to wait for them to lay a solid foundation the strong message coming through is don't give up on something and um, keep persevering it might not be the right time for something right now but slow and steady wins a race keep being loyal to what it is that you love and be assertive about what it is that you love and i'm going to get one archangel michael card now let's see what comes through from the Archangel Michael deck, please, soulmate to part number two. What will you have in there? Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Please help me clearly hear, see, feel and know the divine guidance I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. So you're very, very um, intuitive in this pile and your soulmate wants you to know that what you're feeling right now about something or about them is trustworthy. The guidance that you've had, they can feel what that guidance is, is trustworthy. Stay committed, stay devoted to something, continue to take the lead and be assertive. Although have patience to wait until a solid foundation has been built while you co-create something with spirit and your soulmate. So pile number two, this is what I got for you today from your soulmate. I hope that it resonated with you. And I love doing it so much. So thank you so much for watching. It's been such a joy to do it. <laughs> I've really enjoyed doing these two so far. I'm excited for the other two. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment in the comment box below. I would love to hear if it resonated or not. If you're new here, then I hope it, it had a message for you as well. Um, I'd love it if you considered joining, if you feel called to. It's really fun here. You can just add comments and I love the amount of um, people and friends I've made on the community so thank you guys so much for all of you who are already here I'm so grateful for you um, but thank you so much for watching and thank you Archangel Shamuel for being here as well Archangel Shamuel is the Archangel of love and he helps to open our hearts to accept and give love 
He gives us a really healthy heart chakra, but also grounded by all the other chakras. Um, he's, it, I feel as though he comes and like opens up the heart chakra and then activates all the other ones above and below so that everything is flowing in a really open way. Because I feel like the heart connects us to everything. Um, but he's a really beautiful angel to work with. He's the divine matchmaker and the healer. Um, and I created this altar print of him, which is available in my Etsy shop. I've also created this print, which has a prayer on it to help you to connect with him. Um, and a little bit of information about um, what he can bring to your life as well. And I channeled this affirmation card as well. So I'm going to read that out for you now. I love everyone in my life and everyone loves and appreciates me too. I'm grateful for all my friends. I'm a loving and kind friend. I accept all of me. And I fully forgive the mistakes I've made in the past. I'm gentle with myself and others. I matter to people. It's easy for me to love and be loved. I feel safe to open my heart and be myself. I love my uniqueness and the universe loves me deeply. I'm worthy of wonderful, loving relationships. And it says big love ahead. And you can find all of my different altar prints in my Etsy shop down below if you feel called checking it out, to, to checking it out. I'd love it if you did. I'll pop the Archangel Shami on the co in the top comment in case you feel drawn to checking them. They each come with a prayer sheet, an affirmation card, and then the hand-painted print. Also, you'll find my tarot deck that I've been working with on the channel there. Um, this is a Smith Rider Waite based deck, so it's great for beginners. You can use it with any guidebook, and the imagery is really bold, so it, it can help you to connect with the meshes quite simply. And it comes with an, an altar print of your choice, anyone from the shop of a face of God that you feel most drawn to. I'll pop that in the post with you with this as well. Um, and it also comes with a handmade pouch to store them in. And I'm also opening up private readings as well if you fancied um, booking one with me. I do a mini reading, which is like choosing your own pile of a pick a card. Um, there's a section devoted to the tarot where we'll ask spirit your question. And then I'll pre-shuffle some oracle cards um, to, to help with the question as well. And I finish it with some advice and guidance. And I also offer a more detailed reading, which has three different parts to it, all repeating that process, where you can either ask three different questions or you can ask just one, um, ask for as much detail for one topic that you would like. And all that info is listed down below. Thanks, guys, so much for this lovely energy. I loved it so much. Hope you have a lovely day. I hope I see you next time. Lots of love. Bye. Part number three, welcome to your reading today where I'm going to be getting a message for you from your soulmate. This is the higher self of your soulmate, whether you're partnered with them already 
or you are currently not with them, their higher self is coming through. Hope you guys are really well. So today you were attracted to a really lovely combination. You've got number 11 with Modron, goddess of motherhood, along with this beautiful carnelian heart crystal. So Modron, the goddess of motherhood, is a goddess of healing, of um, birth, of new ideas. She's surrounded with loaves of bread and harvest, as well as two twins, I think. One of them is nursing and the other one is sleeping. Um, so this could be a really abundant time in your in your connection with your soulmate right now. Maybe some of you are entering a journey of motherhood or you're um, becoming pregnant or you're in a season of motherhood. Um, or maybe you are birthing creativity or abundance into your world. The Carnelian crystal is all about being brave and being courageous and resilient and also um, having confidence in yourself. So there could be a message from your soulmate to have confidence in yourself right now. The 11 makes me think of twin flame or justice energy as well. So today I'm going to be asking Archangel Shamuel to help protect this reading for us. And he is the Archangel and the divine matchmaker and healer of love. So he brings in soulmate connections, he helps to heal the heart. Um, and he's a wonderful angel to connecting with all kinds of relationships for opening us up to trust people. So I'm going to ask him to help us connect you with your soulmate. Let's see what message they have for you. Thank you so much Archangel Shamuel for protecting this reading and for connecting us please to the soulmate of the person who chose pile three. What message do they have for pile three please? So we've got the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Cups. This is lovely. So there's a dream come true happening in your soulmate connection. For some of you, there could be a dream birth with the Ace of Cups, because this can often mean about children, or there's um, a new beginning in your relationship, which feel is going to feel like a dream. They're wanting you to know about this right now. They're wanting you to have confidence that your dream can manifest. So there's something about continuing to focus on your dream, can fit, continue to focus on this overflowing holy grail cup of what it is that you're wanting and trusting that spirit will bring this dream in for you and your soulmate. Um, and this could be anything at all, but it's something that you've been really longing for. So they're wanting you to know that this is happening for you. We've got the justice card, in, which is interesting because I did notice number 11 being a little bit like justice. So this is all about fairness, balance, um, things being just, things coming together as well. Very orange energy here. The king of pentacles, so this is a very financially abundant and loyal king, someone very committed. And the empress, lovely. So this is very motherly energy as well with the goddess of motherhood. Um, somebody very abundant. We've got the five of wands here, which is all about conflict or competition or debate. And the lover's card. And the high priestess card. So you've got some major arcana cards here. You've got justice, which is Libra. We've got Taurus, we've got Gemini, and we've got Cancer. So your soulmate wants to come through with a message for you about something that has been um, a challenge in your life with the Five of Wands. And this challenge could be about something, either something unfair that has been happening in your life, um, that you have been really brave or courageous in fighting, but they want you to know spiritually that they are holding something together for you. I feel as though something is being held together in the spiritual worlds, especially with the High Priestess and the Lover's card coming through, which is helping to contain a challenge or helping something to get off to a start, a good start. There seems to be something about to 
I'm seeing like, you know, when you're trying to, oh, that's so interesting. Just before you're reading, the old, the other tea light came out. So I got another tea light to fill this um, holder with. So I had to relight the fire. They're wanting you to know that something, a fire is being relit in your soulmate connection in the spiritual world. And it's being contained so that no winds can come and break this fire. So there's something that has been a challenge to hold together that is coming together in the spiritual world for you. So to have confidence that this can come together. There's a strong spiritual bond here between you and your soulmate. And they want you to know that nothing can get in the way of this spiritual bond that you have. And I do feel as though they, they feel as though you are a soulmate or a twin flame with the justice card. Um, and I feel as though this person feels like this in the physical world. So this is not just their higher self of their soul coming through, but their physical self feels as though you are a soulmate to them, that you are, they, they, can, they can sense in their physical body that you are twin flames or soulmates. They want you to know that no amount of conflict can get in between you both, that there is nothing at all that can distinguish any of their love for you. And that a new birth is around the corner for you in your life. It could be a physical birth, but it could be any kind of new beginning that is being formed spiritually, waiting for it to be ready to come into the physical world. There could also be a financial new beginning that is coming in your soulmate connection. There might be somebody that they're wanting you to know is going to be offering you some financial news, birthing a project, and that you might feel very busy. You might feel like you have a lot on, juggling everything, but that they are with you always. Your soulmate wants you to know that they're always with you to help you in the physical world. The strongest message I can see coming through here is um, just how much they can hold something. Your soulmate is really preparing something to come into the physical world. There's something about nothing getting in the way here. There's nothing getting in the way of your connection. If you have worried about something getting in the way or jeopardising this connection at all, nothing at all can get in the way. Let me get you some more cards. What message is there for part number three soulmate, please? We've got the King of Swords, so this is strong Archangel Michael energy. And the Three of Cups. So something is very protected, especially if there was anything unfair that happened. There will be justice for any injustices. Your soulmate wants you to know that spirit is on to an injustice. We've got the Star. And the Queen of Swords, we've got the Divine Counterparts coming up again, and also Archangel uh, Raguel and Archangel Michael coming through. The Moon. And the Four of Swords. We've got the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So there's definitely a message of a deepening of a commitment to you that's coming through here. Um, a strengthening of the bond. So your soulmate wants you to know that there is a dream with a star here. A really celebratory dream which is very protected in your connection. This could be um, a healing with a star card. It could be a wish for you to create something it could be a creative project or something that is a dream which is really protected so they're wanting you right now to rest to get some sleep to make sure you're looking after your physical body because you may not see this coming with the moon and the four of swords so they want you to know that very soon you're going to be celebrating a wish fulfillment which is incredibly protected from anything that might jeopardize this wish fulfillment um And definitely a message that they would love for you to get more sleep, get more rest, to look after yourself, to not worry yourself so much, to feel at peace knowing that this is coming in. Let me read for you.
you some of this from the guidebook. It comes from the Gillian Kent Oracle, the Celtic Goddess Oracle, and it's a really beautiful deck. And you've got Modron, Goddess of Motherhood. It says Modron is a healer and the goddess of women, children, fertility, and boys until they are men. Since you love something or someone, you will be enthusiastic and creative. What you are trying to give birth to will develop, as you will nurture every stage of the journey with affection. You will speak to yourself in a kind, maternal way that brings peace of mind. So that's really interesting. There's something that is going to be developed. It will be nurtured at every stage of the journey. You will make sacrifices just as a mother does for her child and create something enduring. You'll commun you will communicate with a person you trust. Others will make sacrifices for you as you deserve love from them and yourself. Trust love is so powerful it conquers all. You are beloved when you give love and will reap what you sow. And it says, be nurtured by Mother Nature. Love your mother and listen to her. She has known you longer than anyone. Communicate with your mother and be guided by her in a situation in your life. Reconnect with nature and your mother when you need guidance. You will receive news of a pregnancy. Bread represents a life force. A wheat grain symbolises birth and death in human life. Cut corn signifies death that is reborn just as wheat grain grows into food. Life and death, rebirth and resurrection are holy. Like Modron's fruit, human life has succulent seasons that fade with time. Something innocent in you is attracting new beginnings and purity in love relationships as symbolised by Modron's baby. It says you can know things about a person by looking at their face, detect truth from lies when you listen to someone, and sense when something feels good or bad. Evil's most powerful weapon is deception disguised as something that looks attractive. So there are a few messages here. You're very protected and your soulmate wants you to know that. They want you to know that there will be justice for you if there was something that has been difficult that's happened in your life and um, that spirit is on to bringing justice in your life here it's very protected for you to have a new beginning in a dream for you especially for someone here financial opportunity for your creativity or your somebody is is protected for somebody to offer you a financial opportunity to partner with you or invest in your project which is protected. So to make sure that you spend a lot of time resting because you might be very busy when this person off offers you this opportunity. Um, but there's something enduring and loyal that your soulmate wants you to know about. They're very loyal to you. They're going to make sacrifices for you. Um, and maybe motherhood is significant as well or birthing a create creative project. Let me get you some more messages now from your soulmate. Let's see what comes through. Thank you, soulmate, to card number three. What message do you have for them, please? So you've got the card, learn from the past, number 25. Overcome any obstacle with rhino spirit, number 50. And there is always enough koi fish spirit, number 36. So there's something here of a lesson that they have learned or they're learning a lesson right now or you're learning a lesson um, and they want you to know that they will be able to overcome any obstacle in your life right now. Um, there's something about abundance especially coming in for you guys in this pile. With this koi fish, fish spirit being about abundance, I feel as though maybe financial abundance is happening for you which will help you to overcome an obstacle in your life. Um... They're encouraging you to stay confident in yourself, especially with anything that you might be birthing in the world, whether that is an idea, um, new life, or something financial, to reclaim your power and stay confident in yourself. Let me get you a card now from this deck. What will you have to know, please? What would you like to say to your soulmate? Ooh. So they all flew out the back. <laughs> with the back. Honour and trust your feelings. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. Be gentle with yourself, Archangel Michael. Please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak and do. 
Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. And you're on the right path, Archangel Michael. I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. So there's a, a message about being kind to yourself and gentle with yourself. Um, be nurturing. Um, give yourself compassion. Honour how you feel. And also to know that you're on the right path. Obstacles are being removed for you. Let me get you a timings card now from your um, soulmate. Let's see what they want to say to you in terms of timing or yes, no. You've got reconsider. So there's something to reconsider, an obstacle to reconsider, maybe. And you've got a no. Let me get one more. I wonder why this no is here. There's something better. So they're encouraging you to reconsider giving up hope on something. And um, that anything that you have felt that you've been redirected away from, anything that you have felt you've had a no, because you can see that there's this woman here and she's got her arms outstretched and she's asking, why is it a no? And the angels are guarding something. They're protecting something. They're wanting you to have absolute faith and trust that a no in your life is not a no forever. It's just that there's something better. There's a better way that the, that the angels can see this unfolding for you. Um, there's always enough, there's an abundance of something, but to trust in any kind of obstacles or divine detours for whatever reason that is. Um, you are on the right track, but there's something better than the no that they gave you. There's something about divine timing or there's something, there's something better that they're wanting you to know. So let me get you a final advice card now. Let's see what comes through. Thank you so much for part number three. What message do you have for them, please? Forty-six. Facing your fears. Look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and others. Stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are. So they're coming forward. Um, your soulmate is coming forward, and also your angels are around you a lot right now to give you strength, especially with that carnelian, to connect with source, connect to God, connect to the universe, and know who you are as a child of the universe. And um, trust in all of the detours that are happening, that they're, they're not a no, they're just leading you towards something better at the right timing. Um, and we consider that you're not on the right path, you're very much on the right path. It's just a message that your soulmate wants you to be really gentle with yourself right now. As something is protected in divine timing, I feel. So card number three, this is what I could get from your cards. I hope that it resonated for you. Don't forget it is a general reading, so leave behind anything that didn't. But thank you so much for watching. I've loved doing the reading. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment in the comment box below. I'd love to know if it resonated or not. And um, if you're new to the channel, then welcome. I'd love it if you consider subscribing if you feel drawn to join the community here. It'd be lovely to have you. Thank you so much, Archangel Shamuel, for these messages today. Shamuel is the Archangel of Love and he opens our heart, helps to heal us and our relationships, and brings about unconditional self-love, trust in the universe, forgiveness, compassion, and an openness to others and relationship. I've created this ultra print of him, which is available in my Etsy shop. It comes with a prayer sheet that I created as well with a poem and a little bit of information about how to invoke Archangel Shamuel, and also an affirmation card I've channeled, which I'll read for you now. I love everyone in my life, and everyone loves and appreciates me too. I'm grateful for my friends. I, have a loving and, I am a loving and kind friend. I accept all of me, and I fully forgive the mistakes I've made in the past. I'm gentle with myself and others. I matter to people. It's easy for me to love and be loved. I feel safe to open my heart and be myself. I love my uniqueness, and the universe loves me deeply. I'm worthy of wonderful, loving relationships. And if you're interested in checking out my altar print of Archangel Shamuel, I'll link it in the top um, comment in the, in the description box below. 
Um, all of my different prints, they come with a prayer sheet and an affirmation card and they come gift wrapped. Um, if you are drawn to giving them as a gift and also my hand drawn tarot deck is available there as well. It comes with a free altar card of your choice and a handmade pouch to store it in um, and a handmade keyword pamphlet as well. I'm also offering private readings at the moment. The information is in the Etsy shop. They're a bit similar to how I do the picker cards. Um, once you've given your question to me, I'll create a video for you. I'll do a spread of tarot from your guides and also some oracle cards in a different section and finish with an advice and guidance. And there's an option for a mini reading and also a more detailed reading which has three different sections. You can either ask three questions or have the whole reading really do a deep dive into one topic. But all of that is listed below. Thanks guys so much for watching. I've enjoyed it so much. I hope I see you in the next one soon, but have a great day until then. Lots of love. Bye. Card number three, welcome to your reading today, which started on 012300, which is really cool. Um, so there's something progressing here. You are attracted to number 37, Aosta, goddess of mourning, which is the energy of like Easter time, it's a springtime, and also this lovely heart, which is an orange calcite heart. And today's reading, we're going to be getting a message from the higher self of your soulmate for you. So she's waking up, and this crystal can help us to bounce back and have rejuvenation and try again. It helps us with our self-worth and our self-confidence and our creativity. So perhaps it's always like Sleeping Beauty waking up from a long sleep. Um, you might be waking up to like your Prince Charming or your Princess Charming. Um, this is a really wonderful card, which I'll get into um, after I've had a look at your tarot cards for you. But there's something new being birthed into your world that your soulmate wants you to know about. There's something that maybe they are waking up to as well. Maybe they're waking up to this connection. They're seeing it clearly. They're waking up from a dream. Um, there's definitely an energy of like the something very happy happening here. So for today's reading, I'm going to be asking for some special help to protect it from Archangel Shamuel, who is the Archangel of Divine Love. He's the Divine Matchmaker, and he helps to heal our relationships by opening our heart. Um, so I'm really grateful to ask him to protect this reading for us and to connect us with your soulmate. So let's see what comes through. Thank you so much, Archangel Shamiel, for protecting this reading. Please will you connect us to the soulmate to part number four with the message they have for part number four, please. I am hearing the Dolly Parton song. I can see the light of a brand new morning. So I'll put that in the description box below. Um, it's been a long, hard night, but you can see the morning. So you've got the Three of Pentacles at the back of the deck. So this is a very healing energy. The Three of Pentacles is a card of community, of collaboration, of mending, um, and of support. So there could be some significant support in your community right now, or in your soul tribe, or in your, um, there's a lot of spirit guys around you helping you right now to mend something. The Nine of Cups, there could be a dream in your community happening as well. Um, there's a lot of collaboration happening right now between someone. You could be collaborating with somebody or you could be collaborating with a specific deity or angel that is helping to bring something together for you. 
So we've got the Seven of Swords here, which is interesting. It's like hidden in the night, something that went hidden. And the Eight of Cups. And the Devil. The Page of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. Whoa. So the first message I got is that they said they're waking up from a nightmare. Your soulmate said waking up from a nightmare. They've said something that they couldn't see something was so bad. They didn't see how bad something was. Or maybe they didn't see how bad they were or how bad something was or someone. And they feel very... Um, I want to say maybe disturbed by a nightmare. Now that they've seen something in their lives, or you have, maybe it's something that you have noticed. Maybe you have noticed something that is disturbing, that you're walking away from. I feel like this is being done in a very careful way. Here, this Seven of Swords is walking away from this devil very sneakily, like tiptoeing out of this situation, really, really sneakily. Doesn't want the devil to know it's going. And then here, the image of Aosta, she looks like she's caught something in the corner of her, her eye. She's caught something, she doesn't want them to know she's caught it. I wonder what this could be. Whatever it is that your soulmate wants you to know that they are waking up from, or you are waking up from, that feels like a nightmare, they want you to know that there's potential now happening in the, your destined path for change with the Wheel of Fortune. The fact that they have woken up to see something clearly that was very negative has planted new opportunities in your connection. And this is destined, they want you to know that this is destined for them to wake up, to see something at this time so that change can happen. The Page of Cups is a creative energy and the Page of Pentacles is about nurturing the seed of potential. Perhaps your soulmate is nurturing something creative right now within them or they're nurturing an idea. It could even be online. Maybe your soulmate, they have planted a new seed in a creative or intuitive way. Maybe they've developed their psychic abilities because of something very difficult they've woken up from. A nightmare has awakened their creative and psychic abilities. And it's creating big shifts in destiny they want you to know about. This awakening is really changing everything in your connection. And it's because they have woken up to a nightmare and realise they need to strategically remove themselves from something. They feel quite... I want to say either innocent or... To be honest, I feel a bit scared. Like maybe they have noticed something, they feel a bit scared. And it's made them feel like a child again. Um, if it's not scared, then they've realised that something they were focusing on, they shouldn't focus on it anymore. And now they feel innocent. They feel like they want to express purity in their life. Purity, innocence and childlike wonder is really important to them. And I think that they love the, these elements in you. There's something almost fairy tale like about you. You are like um, somebody waking up from an orchard. You're very childlike or creative or innocent, they want you to know. And they're waiting for an opportunity to change and become innocent. If this is resonating, let me get you some more cards to try and understand this further. It looks like all of these hairs have got their ears pricked up to something and the goddess is disturbed by something in the corner of her eye. We've 
You've got the Eight of Swords. The Four of Cups and Temperance. Yeah, they didn't see something. And it was something that they needed to heal within themselves. Or maybe this is something within you that you didn't see that they want you to know about. But there's a miracle happening here. Wow, the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. They want you to know that they've changed their perspective on something and they are surrendering something to the divine. There's been a radical shift in how they perceive something in their life. But the shift is not a very happy shift to see. What they see is something they feel regretful over or hurt over. How they've changed their perspective is making them feel very sad about something. So you're, I feel that your soulmate feels quite, I want to say guilty about something or they, they want your forgiveness about something that they weren't able to see, that they need to heal with a temperance card and the devil. However, that what they want to come through, because they are your soulmate, is to tell you that there is an opportunity now for a miracle in purity or innocence or in rediscovering innocence in this connection and for... Um, more love with the Empress card, more abundance and more creativity especially. They want you to know that they feel at the moment that they are choosing to let destiny unfold because I feel that they have had a spiritual awakening and so now they are placing more trust in the divine in being able to um, shift and change something with the Wheel of Fortune. However, they feel as though something is up in the air and they're wondering how you will react to this change in them. I feel as though they're wondering whether you will accept their apology, maybe, or you will accept their healing, their opportunity to heal, something that they didn't see was so difficult, that was holding them back. And they're wondering if you will take an opportunity for purity in the connection so that you're able to birth something much more beautiful and loyal. And they're not sure how you feel is something that's coming through. So let me get you some more cards about what they, if that resonated for you, if what it is, that, what they want to say to you. Thank you so much to Soulmate of Part Number Four. What message do you have for them, please? Flamingo Spirit, number 26, embrace the in-between. Yeah, I got that they felt that they were in between something right now that they weren't fully out of something, but they had noticed it, they'd spotted it, they're strategizing what to do. Number 44, Panther Spirit, reclaim your power. So they're trying to reclaim their power over this devil, which they didn't notice was around them. Or maybe they're encouraging you to do this. Number 21, Dove Spirit, be peace. So they want a miracle, they're praying on a miracle. And number 62, Turtle Spirit, slow and steady wins the race. So they want to bring you a, I want to say like a peace offering, your soulmate does. Um, and they want you to be patient with them with a slow and steady wins the race. As they reclaim their power over something that they have noticed in quite a fearful way that they didn't notice before was holding them back. They would like they would like you to feel at peace about this and they don't want to cut corners in reclaiming their power over this, which is why they want you to know that there is an in-between process. Um, at the back of the deck, we've got take time out. So perhaps they are taking time out right now to heal something. Let me get you some more cards. I feel like whatever it is that they saw, it really kind of stopped their heart or something. It was a very nightmarish time. When they noticed it, when they woke up to it, it really shocked them what it was. Your home is protected by angels. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage or taxes. So your angels are coming through right now for you guys in this pile to say that your soulmate might be on a healing journey, reclaiming their power after waking up to something. 
however angelic forces are around your home right now um, they're helping you you don't need to worry you can be at peace in terms of your home your loved ones and that you are safe and secure that you do actually have guardian angels posted all over your home in your car as you travel around that you're very safe and protected right now You're very, very protected. I feel like you have more angels than most people around you right now. You have spend more time outdoors. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. So your angels and your soulmate want you to feel safe enough to go out and come out of your um, head and into your body. They want you to try and get some fresh air. If it's possible for you to go for a walk or to spend some time in nature, walking around the shops, um, going to get, um, going for a nice run or going to get a coffee, spending more time in your body or doing yoga or doing something like that, meditation would be really helpful for you right now as you also embrace the in-between of your soulmate healing maybe. got the card a favorable outcome thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation which is perfect and fair for everyone involved thank you archangel michael for helping me trust and have faith this is a card of justice so your archangels want you to know that justice is happening in your relationships right now especially if you've been on a very challenging soulmate connection where something difficult has happened um, there is something very protected about you right now in this pile um, to know that there is an in-between process while your soulmate or you have woken up to something. And to know that there is a miraculous, favourable outcome which is coming as part of this soulmate connection. Um, something quite miraculous and very loving as you reclaim your power um, and embrace the in-between of coming out of something and into something much more pure. Let me get you some timings cards or some yes no cards from your soulmate. Thank you so much, soulmate of part number three. You've got success. Ask your angels. So you're, I feel very strong angelic energy around you in this pile. There's a lot of archangels that have been assigned to help you. Whether you invoked them or not, they're around you right now. They're also around your loved ones. And a yes. And at the back of the deck, you've got recovery. The situation will improve. It's not the right time. So this situation is improving. It's not the right time right now. You're being encouraged to embrace the in-between and slow and steady wins the race. And to look after yourself and nurture yourself as something changes and shifts in this connection. I'm going to finish this reading now with one advice card from this oracle. Let's see what comes through. Number 29, empower yourself. Tune into your personal power. You are more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be the strong, beautiful person you are capable of being. Interesting with this message of reclaim your power. So your soulmate wants you to know that you are um, a really beautiful person, that you are strong, you can achieve so much, you can claim your power back. They're really motivating you to do this, to reclaim your power, your personal power in releasing anything that's been holding you back that you've been waking up from. Your soulmate is encouraging you to plant new seeds, to nurture your potential, to nurture your creativity, to turn away from anything that was holding you back because there's a beautiful success with your soulmate. After you have reclaimed your power over something that was really difficult here, whether that's a person, a situation you've woken up to, your soulmate is on the other side cheering you on, waiting for you to come out of this cycle which you're in between right now. Um, don't try and rush through it. It is all protected. There's an amazing, miraculous new opportunity for you with your soulmate that is coming through. And it's all spiritually destined with this destiny card. I haven't showed you yet this um, card, which is really lovely. It comes from the Celtic Goddess Oracle Guidebook. It's the Aosta card. So I just want to read a tiny bit of that out for you because I've read it for everybody else. Let me see. What number was it? 37. 
So maybe the number 37 could be significant, or the 3rd of July, or the 7th of March. It says here, you are on the threshold of a bright new dawn, represented by Aosta, the goddess of morning and spring. Aosta's name means Eastern in Old English. You have the power to become who you might be in your imagination, and let go of negativity, like a spring flower greeting the daylight as it emerges from the dark earth. You will change for the better by alerting your opinions and beginning each day more happily. Realising that every morning brings a new start and holds the seeds of how the rest of your day will progress, you'll see opportunities and plan your day to achieve more. Each day is a small life in your whole life. Life will be wonderful. A new beginning dawns each day and you've reached a turning point. Yes, that's this. It's embracing a turning point in your destiny. The dark days are behind you and bright new days lie ahead. If you desire something elusive, do something to get it. Begin each morning willingly and do positive things daily. Keep income and expenditure well balanced. Nourish your inner strength and love your life. And that's the, the dark days are over. Uh, so I'll put that in the description box below. It says a miracle will happen today. Calm it cumulatively life-changing miracles are occurring so a miraculous energy is definitely happening for you that your soulmate wants you to know about there's a sense of forgiveness there's a sense of change reclaiming your personal power and something shifting big time for you guys in this pile this is what i got for you today i hope it resonated for you don't forget it's a general so if anything didn't feel right always trust your intuition and but thanks so much i absolutely love doing your reading Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment in the comment box below if you feel drawn to. I always love hearing from you guys. If you're new to my channel, then I'd love if you consider subscribing. I post readings at least once a week. Um, and it's free to subscribe. You just need to have your own handle. But it's a lovely community. And I'd love to have you here if you felt um, drawn to. You'd be really welcome to be here. Thank you so much, Archangel Shamuel, for these messages today. Archangel Shamuel is the Archangel of Love and harmony and opening the heart to wonderful relationships. He's also an angel that can help to bring in your soulmate. He's a divine matchmaker. He can heal relationships, heal conflicts, bring about trustworthy people into our lives. And he's a beautiful angel to evoke in any matters to do with the heart, harmony, love, or friendship. And I've created this altar print of him, which is available in my Etsy shop. It comes with an affirmation card and also this prayer sheet with a prayer to help you to invoke him and some information about him. And this is the channeled affirmation card that I created of him. I love an everyone in my life and everyone loves and appreciates me too. I'm grateful for my friends. I am a loving and kind friend. I accept all of me and I fully forgive the mistakes I've made in the past. I'm gentle with myself and others. I matter, in, I matter to people. It's easy for me to love and to be loved. I feel safe to open my heart to be myself. I love my uniqueness and the universe loves me deeply. I'm worthy of wonderful loving relationships. And it says big love ahead. And this altar print is available in my Etsy shop. Um, I'll pop it in the top comment below if you feel drawn to checking this one out, but there are many to choose from and each of them come with a hand-drawn prayer sheet to invoke the God, the Goddess or the Archangel, an affirmation card to help you to connect to their energy and a hand-painted altar print. And they come um, gift-trapped as well if you are considering giving them to a gift to someone. Also, my hand-drawn tarot deck is available there, and this deck comes with a free altar print of your choice. It comes with a little handmade bag and a keyword sheet that I've made, um, and it's a deck that is based on the Smith Rider weight. The imagery is really bold, so it's really helpful for beginners but also if you're just wanting a straight to the point message that's quite versatile with other decks, it's really helpful. I'm also offering private readings at the moment. There's a, two different options, a mini reading where you can ask one question. I pull tarot for you and also pre-shuffled oracle cards based on your question with some advice and guidance. If, or if you're looking for something more detailed, um, if you're looking for up to three questions, I repeat this three times or you can ask one question that we really dive deep into and all the information for that is also in my Etsy shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. I've loved doing your reading. I'm grateful to have you here. And I hope I see you in the next one soon. Lots of love. Bye.